Hey, what is going on fam? It's your boy Swift and I got a special video for you guys today. We're going to be jumping into PvP with LF Broly. Um, now this is a unit that I used to have a lot of fun with. I haven't played with them in a while. Um, the power creep has been pretty crazy the past couple months and I have not really tried Broly out to see how he's doing. So uh, without further ado, let's jump in. Alright, first match, we got a Fusions team. Kind of feels weird uh, not playing with the Blue Boys, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, I don't even have Ultra Gogeta, so my primary, you know, meta unit, per se, is the Blue Boys. So, we do have the Bardock buffs here. Some decent damage to Majub right there, my whole hand is sealed. Okay. I want to get some damage while I still got the Bardock buffs, if I can. I really, I think, oh, he's definitely going to swap out. I'm going to drop. Really? He was baiting that out. Of course, he has a green. I'm actually surprised he was baiting out that drop combo. Here comes a blue card. The classic ultra. Oh, he doesn't have a blue. Oh, he has a rush. Never mind. Okay. Um, that kind of sucks because he's going to build up to a second rush, but let's see how this goes. Oh, okay. I got lucky. I got very lucky. I mean, he was rushing a revival unit, but then again, he would have gained four Dragon Balls. Okay. see if he swaps out. This doesn't even nullify endurance. But uh, I'll take the damage on uh, Ultra Gogeta here. That's decent damage, actually. I can tell Broly's doing decent damage here. Um, I'm just more worried about his defenses. Okay. No. I don't know if it was late reactions or what happened right there, but... Okay. I might still have my cover change immunity. Okay, never mind. That's a dead Maju. Okay, I could just rush right here. I think I'm going to. Okay, I think at this point it's basically game. I mean, if there was if there was a unit to 1v3 me, it would be this Ultra Gogeta, but I think I should be okay here. Alright, GG's. We'll go ahead and jump into the next match. All right, we got kind of an interesting setup here. Blue Boys, Trunks, and then the uh, Death Buff Vegeta. I'm gonna tackle. Okay, got him with the tackle bait. That tackle was a little bit risky, but it ended up working out, and we almost got the Vanish back. One thing that I really love about this Broly is the fact he gets part of his Vanish Gauge back. Oh my god, the damage! And we got the faint. Let me see if I can get the kill here. That'd be so nice. Let me go for taps. Oh, we got crits on the taps. Let's go. Right off the bat, Blue Boy's dead. That feels that feels nice. Dude, that damage from Broly was insane. Like, super impressive. I mean, obviously, we got the Bardock buffs. That's, you know, the main reason I wanted to run this setup, because... Um, if I'm trying to get damage output out of Broly, I think uh, one of the best ways of doing it is running Bardock. 
And nope, I am immune to that, my good sir. Let's just get go ahead and get the damage. And we'll pick up a uh, round of card draw speed right here. Another round of card draw speed, I should say. You have no vanish, my good sir. I'm worried about a rush. That's kind of what I'm worried about at this point. Okay, you still have no vanish. Oh, he did have a vanish. Okay. Okay, GG's. Alright, we got a pretty stacked fusions team here. Starts with Ultra Gogeta. I want to save that green card for Broly. No, that was absolutely the worst timing possible. And there goes that green card. And my entire hand. Gotta love it. Okay. Let's try and get a little damage here. Not bad, not bad. Let's go up the taps. Okay. Okay. I will take the priority, my good sir. I am not going to complain about that. And I think I do really like having Revival Gohan on this setup because it, it does give you a little bit of Rising Rush control. Just a little bit. Sidestep for me. Thank you. Okay, now I'm immune to cover change. Another very good thing about Broly. His main ability makes him immune to cover change. I probably should just rush, but... We're showcasing Broly. I want to see the ultimate. I think in any other situation, I would have just rushed right there and secured a kill. Okay, now I think I am actually going to rush. Uh, I don't want to keep playing these games. I'd rather just secure a kill on somebody. Like I said, in, in a normal situation, I, I would have uh, rushed earlier. Of course, he guesses me. That sucks. That's unfortunate. Okay, we can get him with taps. Okay. He goes for the tackle. Okay. I'll take it. I have no key. Ah, I was late. Ah, nice, nice patience. Very nice patience. He's probably just gonna rush. Yeah. There it is. I don't blame him. I do not blame him. And it does go through, so... I'm gonna have to watch out for the second rush. I mean, he's not gonna be able to have a second rush, like, immediately. But, um... Maybe one or two priorities, he'll probably have it. Okay, now we tackle. That was a little risky, but it paid off. Obviously, Gogeta is still type neutral. I'm not going to be doing crazy damage here. If I can chain this combo until my main ability, that would be nice. And I think I will be able to. Just to get as much damage as I can here. And the more time that I waste right here is the better. I want that type neutrality to go away. Not bad damage at all for against a type neutral Gogeta. And I think he's dead. Yep. Alright, now we just gotta deal with Ultra Gogeta. I'm gonna pop my main. 
And if I vanish, I can I can try to get my vanish back. Yep, let's go ahead and vanish and just immediately pop the ultimate. That's fine. That's fine. We got rid of his vanish. There's no way he's going to 1v3 without having a vanish right now. Oh, there's... Oh, I forgot he had his main. I completely forgot he had his main ability. Well, he, he's got his vanish back now. Never mind. Okay. I think that is going to be game. I could have just stayed in with Broly, but... Let's go ahead and secure the kill here. And GG is not bad. I think uh, this team performed pretty well that match. Not going to lie. All right, we got good old mono purple. Okay. This is a combo drop. I'm expecting him to swap out. Oh, he does not swap out. Okay. Let me get some crits. There we go. A little bit of critties. Now he goes to Super Vegito, of course. Okay. Even if I win this, I don't have much key. Some really good damage. Oh my gosh. God, Broly's damage output is still very, very good. With Bardock. I will say that. I mean, you, he's probably somewhat viable without Bardock, but if you really want to see his true, you know peak potential damage output, you gotta run him with Bardock. Okay, that's a dead Vegeta. There go my Dragon Balls, but that's fine. Okay, we got another green here to pop. Please sidestep for me. Ah, he didn't sidestep. Let me see if I can catch him. Okay. It's a dead Vegito. That's fine. That's fine. There's no way he has another blue card, right? Okay, even now, if he has a blue card, he's not going to get his vanish back. Ah, oh, I thought I was tapping right there. Okay, he should not have a vanish right now, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and now, I'm going to go ahead and pop the rush. But let's do it with Broly and just see the damage. Okay, GG's. Ooh, I kind of like that uh, forfeit shot. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the next one. Ah, this is going to suck. I've been seeing these teams pop up more and more often lately. Um, I want to check, does Broly have any type of immunity to abnormal conditions or, you know, paralysis and stuff like that. I don't think he does. Uh, it would really come in handy if he did right now. Oh, well. We'll still start with Bardock just to get the Bardock buffs. We'll just have to, we'll just have to see how this goes. You never know when you're fighting these Hercule teams, man. Sometimes you don't even get paralyzed and you're fine, and then other times you, you get paralyzed at, you know, all of the wrong times. <laughs> seems like the paralysis always hits you at the worst timing possible. Or at least for me, that's what it feels like. Okay. Got priority, of course. I have to be careful with Super Vegito. I'm trying to input, you know, the least amount of inputs I can right now. Ah, that sucks. But yeah, one thing I've learned with paralysis is if you're trying to charge step and sidestep and do all this fancy stuff, you're going to be way more likely to get hit with the paralysis. Um, but if you're just standing still and chaining your cards together, uh, you're less likely to get hit with it. Of course, I draw blue right there. That really sucks. We already lose the revival on Gohan. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but 
I don't really have any Rising Rush control at this point. Well, I'm not paralyzed anymore. That's nice. Never mind. There's, uh, there's good old Hercule. Wait, was Gohan immune to that paralysis? I should have stayed in with him. I didn't see the, uh, I didn't see the debuffs on Gohan. Or maybe he just had so many buffs that the debuffs weren't popping up. I always forget, like, who's immune and who's not immune. Okay. Get Hercule out of the way. Obviously, I'm locked in, but I, I am about to get my Vanish back, though. God, I love Broly getting his Vanish back. It's so nice. I'm pretty sure I'm not paralyzed right now, either. Okay, that's a dead Super Vegito. Can I get my Vanish back again? Yes, sir. Ah, he's gonna catch me anyways. But yeah, I love the fact that Broly gets his Vanish back like that. I, I, I want to say, I could be wrong, but I feel like he was one of the first units they gave that ability to. Where he just becomes so oppressive, where he gets all these buffs, he gets card draw speed, he gets part of his Vanish back. Um, he gets all these things every single time the enemy swaps out. And then, you know, down the road, we got Evolution Vegeta, who has similar buffs. And there's actually uh, quite a few uh, units that have buffs like that. And I think it's really oppressive. It's a, it's, it's a very valuable thing to have in a kit. But uh, yeah, GG's. I think that will be the last match of the video. Appreciate you guys stopping by. In conclusion, um, I do think LF Broly is viable, especially if you're running him with Bardock. But um, I think it's obvious to say that he has been power crept over the past couple months. Uh, but so, so has a lot of other units. But either way, thank you guys for stopping by. Peace.